Okay, this is a Delco. Cabinet has been refinished already. It's not perfect, but it's a, these rings here, still there. Some scratches here, but for being, you know, 80 whatever years old, it's not too bad. So the thing about this is I already know that it has a bad power transformer. So today what I'd like to do is investigate that to see if we can replace it. I think I have one that will work and figure out what might have led to its failure. So this is the Delco with the bad power transformer. How do I know it's bad? Well, a couple things. First of all, when I got the radio, this was a while ago, someone had cut the high voltage wires off of the rectifier socket and clearly they were trying to trace down a short, probably determined that the transformer was bad. Then I did test the radio. I um, didn't plug it into the wall. Obviously I just tested it with a dim bulb with the rectifier removed and it showed a short. Got this nice replacement transformer here. This one, I've checked it and it tests all right. This is a replacement transformer. Probably the easiest way to figure out what transformer goes in the set is to figure out what they recommend and then get something with the same specs. Physically, it's bigger. So before I go ahead and replace the transformer, I wanna just go over a couple things. First of all, you can see a bunch of wax has leaked out. That's not always a sign of a bad transformer, but uh, in this case, there was actually quite a bit more and I, I pulled it away. The other thing, um, you can see I changed this capacitor here. Uh, it's a line bypass. I was thinking if it were shorted, it would also show up on the dim bulb tester. So someone's been in here. They've replaced a bunch of parts. I want to compare that to the schematic. Speaker's a replacement. It is a field coil, but it's a replacement. So I found out a couple interesting things. So first of all, the um, radio is not quite wired as it looks on the schematic here. So if I look at this, you have your first filter here. So I have that, that's that's actually this right here. This goes to, you uh, can't really see it, but it goes to the center tap. It's this negative, and the positive, which is two tied together again, goes to the positive side. So that's fine. Now, the second filter cap, which you can see is over here, that's a 15 microfarad. Now that here, that would be this one, which was clearly leaking, could be what caused the transformer to go, or the field coil on the original speaker. You can see it's chassis ground here, so that's fine. And then the positive, now this is where it gets weird. We have a positive that goes over here, which is the other side of the field coil, that's all right. Then we got a positive that goes over here next to this other capacitor, which is not even on the circuit diagram. This here, this is the B plus line right here, right? It goes along like this and up to this 21K resistor. Now on this radio, it's not a 21K resistor. It's a 10K and another 10K. So what did they do? Well, they put a capacitor between the two 10Ks. Okay, I've labeled all the wiring. So what I'm just gonna do is take these cutters here and just start cutting these wires. So I'm going to cut them fairly short, so I have enough length here to deal with, um, I don't know if this is all going to reach, so we'll, we'll figure that out. For those who might be curious, this is the dead transformer. You can see that it got quite hot. Obviously a shorted turn, you can see the wax had melted off of the side a little bit. So I drilled the holes for the transformer, now we're going to mount it. So we got the transformer mounted. 
found some hardware for it. I was missing one. Well, actually, I don't have it. The hole wasn't uh, able to be drilled because it's a little bit too too uh, small. Anyway, it's not going anywhere. Transformer is all wired. It took a little while. Um, the other thing you can see, I'm starting to replace a couple things. So this resistor was supposed to be a 270 ohm resistor. It sets the bias for the output tube, I believe. Um, anyway, that was a 500 ohm and it was a replacement. So obviously someone just stuck in whatever they had. This capacitor here, so this is the center tap right there from the transformer, you can see. For the capacitor, I just put the negative there. It's kind of, I don't know, it should be all right. Positive to the field coil first section of the field coil which then actually connects down here to this part of the rectifier so that should be fine and then uh, we're going to replace the second filter went ahead and changed these two filter capacitors so now it's connected the way it's supposed to be so before i replace that resistor I'm wiring this eh, doesn't look great but it's you know it's functional it should be all right and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to change the coupling capacitor, and I think that's this one. This is in the way, so I'll probably change that, and then we'll come back to it. So I went ahead and I just changed all the capacitors. Changed that one. One resistor down here. The other one there. Those two capacitors, and the one the volume control. So... Yeah, I'm gonna clean some controls. Okay, I'm gonna start testing some tubes from this Delco now that I know that the transformer problem is solved. I did check it, make sure that it was not drawing excessive current and uh, with the rectifier removed anyway, and it was fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this 6F6 first. Put that in there have the settings already so I'm just going to bring it up to 6.3 volts give it a minute okay test strong this uses a 5z4 rectifier apparently these have problems like the 6x5 where they often short, um, heater to cathode short, and what ha when that happens, the transformer goes. So I bet that's what happened. Uh, anyway, I definitely don't trust this tube that was in it, um, and I think what I'm going to do is uh, probably for testing purposes put a 5Y3 in it. Um, they're just basically the same tube in a lot of ways, except for the construction of the internal elements, the behavior of it at startup. So for example, when you first turn on the radio, a 5Z4 will warm up slowly along with the other tubes and the B plus comes up more slowly. It does provide a slightly higher B plus. The 5Y3 instead warms up quickly, provides B plus within a few seconds and therefore you get a high B plus until the tubes start conducting and then you end up with your, uh, you know, the operating voltage, which is a little bit lower than what a 5Z4 would provide. I mean, lower by, you know, 20 volts. Um, I don't think it's going to matter in this radio. Uh, in fact, it's probably a good thing. Um, the speaker, which I have over here, this is not the original speaker, and the uh, um, field coil is not quite the same value as what it says in the schematic. So it's a little lower. So I think the lower B plus is probably a good thing for this. Um, we're gonna try it out and we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go through testing these tubes. So here's a 6H6. It's a dual diode or something. Yeah, that's good enough. 6A8. Uh, 
mediocre. It might work, but it's it's weak. Okay, this is a 6K7. Test good. The base is broken on this one. Sometimes this happens. You end up with a broken key. If you have the piece, you can fix it. Unfortunately, I don't. So what I did was I just put a mark here on the shield so then when I go to put it back, I know which direction to put it in. You plug this in the wrong way, you can cause some problems. So this is a 6F5. So I'm gonna give that a minute. Yeah, it is warming up. Okay. Good. Okay, so basically all the tubes test okay except for the 6A8 is weak. Uh, and the rectifier, I'm not putting this back in. I I will, uh, like I said, I'll put a 5Y3 in it for now. So there's one capacitor here I have to change. You can barely see it. Barely see it down there. Just here is this fuse, which is good, but it's the wrong value. Pulled it out, it's like a two amp fuse or something. I have a feeling this set was probably going probably something in here was filter caps or this tube was uh, leaky and or starting to short and it was drawing excess current blew the fuse and someone said well we'll just put a different fuse in it and a two amp fuse worked just fine until the power transformer decided to die there's no cover, the fuse cover is missing. So I think what I'm gonna do, uh, cause you know, this is safe and everything, you know, just stick your hand on it and get an instant shock. I think if I get it playing and everything, I'll probably put a fuse underneath it. Kind of interesting that this had a fuse. Most of these radios didn't have any kind of protection at all. It was just a hope it doesn't short or die and Hopefully if it does, someone's there so it doesn't burn your house down. So I put in a uh, fuse. This is a one amp fuse, which is probably overkill for a six tube radio, but it's unfortunately, it's all I had. So we're gonna go ahead and power this up. See, I've got everything connected. I have the meter connected across the field coil. And the second, I'm um, sorry, not across, but on the other side of the field coil. Um, see over here. Speaker is connected. The dim bulb is in series with my Variac. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the dim bulb. Variac is still off. I'm just going to move that away. Well, you won't be able to see the dial, unfortunately. Okay. And so we're going to turn that on. I have a 5Y3 in it, so I'm going to put it at. 10 volts. Uh, we're at 25 volts. And 30 volts. Let's put it up to 35. It's going down. That's good. It means the tubes are starting to warm up. So this is a good sign. I'm going to put it up to 40 volts. Should be getting a lot more than 15 volts DC, come on. Okay, here's a brand new 5Y3. We're gonna give it a try. It is actually brand new. Hope it's good. And we'll see if it makes any difference. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put it up to 15 volts. This is more what I'm expecting. 20 volts and I've got 16. 17 coming out. I'm only at 25 volts right now. We've got 90. See, now we see the voltage dropping as the tube filaments start conducting. See, it's dropping. 187. This is good so far. Maybe up to 60. Usually around 70 volts is when I start hearing something. 
Well, I hear something. No reception. Could be a weak oscillator. Check that and come back to it. I wasn't getting any stations, so let's see. I'm gonna oops, turn that off. See if we get anything. Still nothing. Tells me we maybe have no oscillator. <laughs> 